What's up guys, this is Hardik here. So finally, Paranor Android has launched their new 7.1.2 ROM for a couple of devices. Uh, so they're calling it the Paranor Android 2017 Nougat version. So we have been waiting a long, long time for this particular ROM to drop. So finally it's here and it will be showing you to flash it and also give you my initial impressions on this ROM. So it's only released for few devices which I'll be linking in the description below. Also other devices, the testing is still going on. So it may happen that they'll release the final build in a couple of months and stuff. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted to the PA page that is the Paranor Android page on the Google Plus. So I'll be linking that in the description as well. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, you will need a device that is rooted or have a custom recovery installed. So you will have to need a custom recovery, say it any TWRP, uh, let's say CWM or any custom recovery of your choice. Then again, I'll be linking the downloads uh, in the description below, the ROM file and the G apps. I'll be linking that in the description below. So yeah, to flash it first, make sure that you back up your entire device because if anything goes wrong, it probably be easy to restore it from the backup itself. Uh, so yeah, make sure you back everything up. Once everything's backed up, go into wipe, then go into advanced wipe, select Dalvik art cache, system, data and cache. Do not select the internal storage because again, that's that's where you have your ROM file and GApps. So once everything's selected, just swipe to confirm and swipe to wipe. So once the wipe is done, just go into your home, then go into your install and then browse where you have the ROM file and your GApps. So here it is, just first flash the ROM file and yep, we'll just wait until it's done. So once the ROM file is flashed, just go back and select the G apps. For here, I'm having the Nano G apps because Nano G apps works like 99% of time. And I'd prefer stock G apps, but stock G apps tend to not work with every ROM. So Nano G apps like work works all the time. So yep, Nano Nano G apps here. And again, we'll just wait until it's done. So yep, as you can see, the G apps are flashed. So we'll just reboot the system. And again, if you want the DWRP app, you could install that, but I won't be installing that. So there we go. It's rebooting. We'll just check out the new boot animation. And I guess it's gonna be the uh, pattern rendered version. Yep, there we go. So that's clean, that's clean. Uh, so yeah, again, Paranor Android ROMs uh, again have been like really, really good uh, in terms of performance and battle life as well. So that's the reason they take like a long time to develop because they're like these stable ROM. I've been using Resurrection Remix ROM on OnePlus One uh, because that's the only stable ROM for that device. And again, Resurrection Remix ROMs have been also stable in terms of performance and battle life but this one the panel android they have been crushing each and every rom since the beginning itself so yeah i also flashed the 6.0.1 few months back on this device and that rom was smooth as well the panel android version itself so yeah again these roms have been pretty pretty stable so yeah i'm pretty excited to test it out and also take you guys with me on how the experience is all about so we'll just wait until uh, the boot animation is done and yeah i'll be right back once the rom is flashed and uh, it did vibrate it did vibrate so i'm guessing it's done there we go aospa okay it's based on aospa so that's nice so it probably won't be having any of the bloatware clean stock android again so yep so yeah i'll be right back after i'm done with the um setup so here we go the setup has now been completed and we do have the pixel launcher over here so we'll quickly jump into the settings and i'll be showing you the new features and what all we have in this particular rom so again if you go into more we do have nfc and stuff so that's like the common thing that we have then going back into display again let's see we have nightlight mode we have ambient display display size and stuff also theme uh let's see we have pixel we have 
dark okay and then we have default so i prefer the dark one because that looks really really good so if you go back as you can see everything turns into dark so that's pretty neat then going down we have again led notification light and stuff going back again into notifications uh basic things i guess i mean notification light and stuff the app notifications yep then we have gestures uh jump to camera so double tap to camera swipe for notifications so we do have it over here so if i just do this it will bring up the notifications uh then going back again we have let's see sounds buttons so we could customize we could even swap the buttons so back over here and recent over there then we have pie settings which i personally don't like so yep that's pretty much it in buttons then we have apps we have storage battery memory uh users tap and pay we don't have android pay in india but for some weird reason it's still showing up okay so there's no app but we do have it over here then we have security uh then going down we have about phone let's see uh, it's 7.1.2 so yep the latest version that we have also let's see the um security patch level i don't think it's given over here okay it's done it's may 30th so again it's the latest one and here is the 7.1.2 release we also do get the uh, ot updates for per under android so if we just check here for updates uh, it says your device is up to date so let's quickly um get the developer options and see what all we have over there so oem unlocking extended reboot so it's like advanced reboot then we have color temperature usb debugging just enable that so yeah again i think all the basic things that we used to get in stock android so again the apps here are pretty basic camera and stuff So again as we flash the Nano apps we don't have all the Google apps but we do have the Play Store so you could uh install any of the app that we want and we could not install the other apps that we don't want. So again the Pixel launcher we do have the um Google home page over here. And yeah that's pretty much it. Let me let me just check if any of the feature are left here like status bar customizations and stuff. I don't tend to see it over here but i don't know they may add it uh, in the future builds also the as you can see there are the green accents so let me just check if i could change the theme of that okay so there we go we do have it over here so we could select blue uh and if you just go back as you can see everything here is in blue now okay so we could change so it's like hidden in some of the other settings and stuff but yep let's see if we could do red and let's see how does that look oh that looks really really good as you can see everything's changed to red now so yeah again it's up to you what do you need and what you don't so we'll just check the wallpapers again paranoid papers it says okay these are really 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 clean i'll be linking the wallpaper uh folder or the zip file in the description below so you could get all the parana rendered wallpapers on your device itself but yeah for now that's been it guys uh i'll be if you want i'll be making a re video review of this rom as well so if you want that just let me know in the comment section below and i'll be making that but for now that's been it guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel to watch more contents on this rom and any other rom that comes for our device But yeah, thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in my next one.